Part of a group called Fallen Angels, which is um, a dance group, looks at um, things in recovery, uh, mental health, as well as addiction. So we all collectively come together each Friday and look at dancing and look at how movement could be an expressive form for your emotions. And we've been working collectively with Cartwheel Arts and we've been looking at how you can dance and also use movement to make your mark on various canvases. And when you make a mark, it is your mark, it's very where it is, it can't be erased. Over the past few weeks, we have been creating a picture really that we see as ours. We think of the creative moment of today and your imagination does the rest for you. You just swing your arms and go where you want. The project came about really with a collaboration between ourselves and Fallen Angels who meet here every week to perform, to move, to do really kind of positive things with their bodies. They're all in recovery from adversity or addiction so it's a really positive energy that comes from that group. We've at the moment got the Jerwood Drawing Prize on display which is a really diverse mix of drawing practice. So we've got digital works, charcoal works, more traditional works and we've invited the performers and cartwheel arts to come together really and be inspired by drawing. Look at drawing, look at mark making, look at narrative, look at ambience, uh, look at the energy that comes through a drawing practice and to really explore that in terms of what they do. So we're not taking anything away from what they do, but we hope that this has ignited something in them and that they might not normally have approached. We have emotions together, what we share, and um, we have a discussion at the beginning, and we then extract what we've spoken about into more movement, so um, we may be feeling very happy and that will come out in a more open form, and if we are feeling quite sad, and maybe a lot smaller of a mark. So today we've been um, using a lot of colour within our marks and it's shown that we've been very vibrant. We tend to forget about words and use movement as a form of communication. So we choreograph different types of moves and then we look at how we can explore making the movements more visual onto canvas and it's really good to see the transition from the movement onto the canvas and how that takes place as well and how that can be recorded. The four organisations that we're working with to develop this multi-dimensional uh, sort of art piece it's been a really, really productive collaboration where everybody has the same intention, everybody has the same mindset of how we want things to progress and everybody is helping each other to feel positive, uplifted. We're all integrating well together and I hope that I can do things like this in the future because when it all works, it works brilliantly. At the moment, in the current kind of funding climate that we're all facing, I think partnership is absolutely key, partnership and collaboration. And it's really working with like-minded organisations and individuals who see the benefit and see the, the positivity that comes out of this kind of activity. And so you kind of choose your friends wisely, I think, but th that makes things happen. So even if you, as a, as a kind of host venue, are, haven't got the capacity to, to fund a project, then you can work with people who might have uh, funding available, who can see the benefits, something that taps into their vision and their ethos. It's a joint way to make these things happen. These projects, they help to make you feel relaxed, 
look into things that you never thought you would look into and you kind of find yourself through what you create. Curiosity and creativity keeps me going. There's a confidence, I think, there's a newfound confidence in the region that arts and culture aren't just nice things to go and look at on a wall, that they play an absolute integral part in town centre regeneration, in cultural education, in raising aspirations of young people, in healing communities and bringing them together. And so I think there's been a kind of monumental recent shift, I'd say, in the region that we, we need to grasp and we need to seize and we need to make the most of. I do see the role of culture as a main part really of what we are. It helps us find our place in the world, it helps us express ourselves, it brings us joy, but it also makes us question, it makes us query, it makes us challenge the information that we might be being fed through mainstream channels and it makes us see the world in a different way. Myself, it's been um, out of my comfort zone. But I've really found it passionate and quite good to be able to explore new areas in your life. It embraces you with new opportunities. Make your mark means to leave people thinking they can do things because they can. We all want to be able to leave the little mark on the wall. We want people to remember us for what we've done.